Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the concept of transducers and basically what are primary and secondary transducers. As you all know, the transducers are the devices which transforms or convert physical energy to electrical energy on activation. There are many physical quantities or parameters like heat, intensity of light, flow rate, liquid level, humidity, pH value and many more like this which can be converted into electrical forms like change in current, change in voltage or change in resistance with the help of transducers. As an example of primary and secondary transducer, we are seeing burden tube with LVDT as an example of primary and secondary transducer. Here this question mark type tube which you are seeing, this is a burden tube and this structure is a is an LVDT that is linear variable differential transformer. Since it is having transformer like structure that is primary winding and two secondary windings, it's called as transformer. The linear variable, you can vary the output voltage across the secondaries with the moment of the core linear in linear way. So that's why linear variable and at since these two windings are connected in series of position, you are getting the differential voltage at the output that is why it's called as the differential and since the arrangement is like transformer it's called as a transformer so in short it is linear variable differential and transformer here burden's tube measure pressure in terms of displacement see this is burden's tube and when the pressure is applied to its fixed end its property is the free end of the burden tube moves inside it means the displacement of the free end takes place in this direction that displacement is a measure of pressure so pressure is measured in terms of the displacement and lvdt what lvdt does the displacement of the burden tube here which is taking place because of which through this cord this core will be moved up and when this core will move up therefore at the when the displacement of the core takes place the number of fluxes which are linking from primary to secondary S1 and primary to secondary S2 will change. Therefore, the voltages which you will get across S1 and S2, they will differ and the difference of it, since the series opposition connections are there between the S1 and S2, the difference of these two voltages will appear here as a differential output voltage. Displacement of the free end of the burden's tube due to the pressure applied moves the core of LVDT up and down and converts it into the output voltage. Thus, it is clear from this that the voltage which you are getting here at the output or the final output which we are getting as an output voltage is proportional to the displacement of the free end of the burden tube while this is indirectly proportional to the pressure. It means pressure is being converted into the displacement of the free end of the burden tube and the this displacement is being converted through this core into the output voltage. Hence there are two stages of transduction. One is conversion of pressure into displacement which is done by Borden's tube and the conversion of displacement into analog output voltage which is done by LVDT. This is the long form of LVDT. Hence in a pressure measurement using burden tube and LVDT, burden tube is a primary transducer while LVDT is a secondary transducer. As an example, as an ex another example of this kind which is explaining the primary and secondary transducer concept, we will consider a compressive force measurement using load cell. So here consider this is a cubical shaped structure you are seeing. This is actually the load cell upon which the force is being applied on the vertically opposite faces and on the horizontally opposite faces the strain gauges are bonded like this right so these are the strain gauges bonded on horizontally opposite faces while the compressive force is applied on the vertically opposite faces load cell is a transducer this basically cubical shape which you are seeing this is a load cell is a transducer converting force into measurable electrical output. We will see how it is happening. 
लोड सेल इज अ शॉर्ट कॉलम विथ स्ट्रेन गॉजेस बॉन्डेड टू इट ऑन अपोजिट फेसेस दिस वी ऑलरेडी सीन द फोर्स विच इज मेजर एंड हियर दैट इज द क्वांटिटी टू बी मेजर ऑन अप्लाइंग टू द कॉलम कन्वर्ट्स इट इन टू द स्ट्रेन स्ट्रेन ऑन वॉट स्ट्रेन ऑन द स्ट्रेन गॉजेस विच स्ट्रेन इज वॉट इज वॉट इज स्ट्रेन स्ट्रेन इज अ मेकेनिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट विच इज एन एनालॉग आउटपुट ड्यू टू दिस स्ट्रेन resistance of strain gauges changes and hence the output is obtained as a change in resistance which is a electrical quantity what is in short we can say the force which is being applied on the vertically opposite faces this creates the mechanical displacement in this load cell due to which the strain gauges changes its resistance and the measurement of resistance gives us the measurement of force so force is being converted into the mechanical displacement and the mechanical displacement being converted into the resistance means force which is a physical quantity converting into the electrical one that is resistance change in resistance thus in load cell there are two stages of transduction as we have seen in a earlier case so here what are the stages of transduction one is conversion of force into mechanical displacement which is done by column or load cell and second is conversion of mechanical displacement into resistance change which is done by strain gauges hence load cell or column is a primary transducer while strain gauges are secondary transducers generally in measurement system mechanical devices acts as a primary transducers while an electrical devices acts as a secondary transducer so i hope the concept of primary and secondary transducer is clear to you uh, this uh, video will definitely clear your ideas about the lvdt burden tube and how they are used as a primary and secondary transducer similarly the strain gauge and the load cell togetherly used as a primary and secondary transducer thank you so much